What up YouTube, it's your boy Hayes and I'm back with another video. Back working on my road glide today. What I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change out my fuel filter. When I started up, it's, you know, a little sluggish or whatever. Sometimes it'll uh, over, you know, not over start, but when I'm trying to hit the start button, it'll go, 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 and it'll go out or whatever, you know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with my fuel filter and change that out. And uh, see how that goes, gang. Here's my 2013 Roll Glide CVO. Let me grab my hat. That's my brand, Royalty Blood. I'll be putting that out for y'all as well. But uh, I'm gonna check out my 2013 Roll Glide, gang. Make sure y'all um, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell to all so you can get all my new up and coming videos, gang. So we can get to it. This this channel is about bike life. And um, a little bit of other things I'm going to be dropping in here and there. That's going to pique y'all interest, no doubt, for sure, gang. But uh, stay tuned. Again, I'm going to uh, go back over my bike and continue to show it. My 2013 Road Glide CVO. Atomic Orange Galaxy Gray. I still don't have a name, so if you have a name, if you think of one, put it in the comments below and let me know what y'all think. But uh again, here she is. I'm trying to see that that uh that sun hit the front end and change that uh that orange to like a little yellowish. So I love this color. But uh yeah, gang. I would have pulled it out but it's hot as hell and I ain't finna put myself through that. I'm gonna throw them gray. But uh it's my 2013 Rogue Glide CVO. You see them, you see it, you see it. Just went up to uh Harley Davidson Thunder Tower East. And I got my fill filter. And they gave me a gasket. Uh, it cost me uh, about $25. So it's not really expensive. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if I can um, get this camera propped up somewhere to where um, we can get this process going. And I can show y'all how this gonna go. Shouldn't take long, it's not too much. Um, I don't have the fuel lock key, but that's all right. There's another way we can get that off, so we're gonna go through it, and get it off. So stay tuned, gang. We're gonna get to it. I'm gonna sit y'all down somewhere and uh, see if I can get a good angle so y'all can walk along through it and see the process because I know it's not too many videos here on YouTube about how to change these fuel filters. And some of you guys have CBOs like I do, and it's okay. It's pretty simple, it's all right. But make sure you have um, some cleaning utensils, like you know um, what what they call it—a uh, floor room shine, a detail where you you know it's like a spray a spray uh, wax, so to speak. Because when you take when you take this part off, it's gonna be a little dusty under there, gang. So you know you want to clean that up a little bit before you put it all back together. So just make sure you got a little cleaning tools and we'll get to it. So uh, let me find a spot to uh, put this down at and I'll get back to you in a minute, gang. All right. A few moments later. All right, gang. Made it back. Man, I, I ain't gonna hold y'all. I couldn't find a good spot for me to put my camera down. So I went ahead and got started. So I'm gonna just walk y'all through the process on what I did. And it's real simple, gang. So, of course, you know you gotta remove the seats. Now, on mine, my plugs, my plugs are here. I know on, on some road lots, your connection is gonna be here to where you disconnect the fuel line from the bike. On CBOs, it's gonna be there. And then this plug, ah, this plug here goes in there. All right, so when I took my seat off, there was a bolt down here, which is a 10 millimeter. And there's a, a, a bolt here at the top that you gotta take off. So 
basically the front here. And the bolt there is what's going to remove this. And this is what I was saying. You want to have something to clean the little dust and dirt up from up under here. All right. So when once I remove that, it's a lock. This is the lock that, that's on there. So like I said before, I, I didn't have the lock key, so I just used a flathead screwdriver and, and a hammer or whatever to, to take it off. Now when you take that off or whatever, you know, there's a gasket that's under there. They're gonna, you know, that comes with the pack or whatever. And once you take this off, the, uh, the fill filter is in there. So give me a minute. Let me take that out and I'll get back to y'all in a minute and show y'all exactly what a, uh, the fuel filter container or reservoir, whatever you want to call it, is at and show you how it look or whatever. And then I'll show you how my old fuel filter look versus my new one and we'll get it all put back together and start the bike and I'll ride it. All right. So give me a minute and I'll be back to y'all in a minute. All right, y'all. I'm back. Got the fuel pump taken out. I'm gonna show y'all, man. My, my fuel pump was dirty. I ain't even gonna hold y'all, man. I'm phone them gray, but uh, I'm gonna walk y'all through this process as well because uh, gotta uh, this is detrimental to taking it off. But anyway, uh, this is the got the fuel pump taken off. Right now on the bottom, right here, there's a clip, and this clip right here right you need a screwdriver to stick inside that part right there so you can stick the screwdriver in to push this clip in and then you'll be able to remove this clip out of there then you got to take a screwdriver and <clears throat> that little clip right there the little black yep right there that goes right there so you have to push in in that little hole to be able to release that right and then when you first move the pump take the pump off when you remove the, the lock there's let me see uh, where they at there's two gas lines two gas lines that you gotta remove now you cannot screw these up because one hole is smaller than the other so you, you know you cannot mess it up so once you uh, remove that you'll be good and then you can remove the, the pump off and there's a silver ring that's inside you just have to push the clip down remove it and the top part come off take the ring out and then you'll get to your fuel filter here's how my fuel filter looks now mind you, I've had, I had this bike since 2015, 2016. I only got 30,000 miles on my bike. Harley recommends that you change it at 100,000 or whatever. They're good, they're good till 100,000 miles, excuse me. But I got 31, 33,000 miles on my bike. And as you can see, I need a fuel filter. But uh, every time that I try to start my bike, it was acting sluggish, act like it didn't want to start, whatever, woo woo. So I was like, all right, let me start here um, and uh, change my fuel filter and see how that goes. So at this point now, gang, I'm about to get ready to put everything back together. Once I, get, once I put everything back together, I'll be back and show y'all how everything is. And I'll start the bike, show y'all how it sounds. And we'll go from there, gang, all right? All right, gang, I'm back. I got everything put back together. Oh, let me get my camera right. Let me get my camera right. Blow out the van. All right, y'all. So I got everything put back together. She golden. I'm going to pull her out because I'm actually riding to the store. So give me a minute as I pull her out. And uh, y'all can see how she looking. Matter of fact. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull her out. I'm going to set y'all up so y'all can see her come out real quick. And then I'll start her up.
All right, gang, as you can see, I got it pulled out. My 2013 Road Glide, excuse my camera flinch right now. But uh, my 2013 Road Glide CBO. 110 motor. I don't know, I'm gonna take it to, I'm gonna take it to uh, Harley and get it Dyna and see if the previous owner before me did anything different to it and see what's up but i'm gonna go ahead and start it so we can uh see how how good it sounds video make sure you like comment subscribe hit the notification bell to all so you get all my new videos coming stay tuned gang and we back it's your boy Hayes and I'm out peace